President Donald Trump could face a mass exodus in his cabinet after next week's midterm election with as many as six members of his team making their departure. Trump is widely expected to get rid of Attorney General Jeff Sessions, whom he has criticized for months, after polls close on November 6. But others on the departure list are said to be Defense Secretary James Mattis, Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross and Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen, a close ally of Chief of Staff John Kelly Politico reported. If the speculated departures come to pass, it would mean the president would be starting the new year and be heading into his own re-election effort with a heavy handicap, a loss of experienced staff and a series of potentially bloody Senate confirmation hearings to replace them. One official argued the new blood in the cabinet would allow Trump to bring in staff that could benefit him politically. The president is looking to get better performers, all of these decisions are being made in the context of the re-election campaign, one Republican close to the White House told Politico. Trump wants the strongest possible A-team going into 2020. There's naturally a bit of turnover after a new president's first two years in office. But Trump has seen an unprecedented exodus from his administration. In March, NPR reported that in his 14 months on the job, Trump's had more cabinet turnover than 16 of his predecessors had in their first two years. Share this article Share Already Gone, Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price, Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly, who became Chief of Staff, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin, and EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt. And U.S. Ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley announced earlier this month she would leave her post at the end of the year. The list of departures could also expand should Democrats retake control of the House and launch a series of investigations into the Trump administration, meaning cabinet members could face a deluge of subpoenas for them and their staffs along with the lower chamber of Congress doing all it can to obstruct the executive branch's agenda. And that political pressure could mean difficulty in replacing departing members. How do you re-staff with top quality folks knowing that you're going to be subpoenaed? If you go in, you better be wealthy, because you're going to need to pay a lawyer," former White House adviser Steve Bannon told Bloomberg. This whole thing is psychological warfare, and it'll affect the ability to attract great people. Trump has foreshadowed the possibility of losing members of his team, telling 60 Minutes earlier this month that at some point, everybody leaves. He suggested Mattis could possibly on the chopping block. General Mattis is a good guy. We get along very well. He may leave. I mean, at some point, everybody leaves, he said. I think he's sort of a Democrat, if you want to know the truth, he noted. Mattis has been rumored to be on the way out for more than a month amid reports relations between the two men have deteriorated although the defense secretary is expected to leave on his own terms. The president also indicated more people will exit his cabinet likely after the election. Other people will go for sure, he said. And while he didn't name specific names, he did say there are some people in his cabinet he is not happy with. I have a great cabinet. I have some people I'm not happy with. I have some people I'm not thrilled with. And I have other people I'm beyond thrilled with, he said. The president said he has phenomenal people waiting in the wings to join his team. I have people now on standby that will be phenomenal when they come into the administration, he said.